The shipping method screen is where you set up all of the different shipping methods that you want to offer using your cart. Now it's important to note that um, whilst you can create as many different shipping methods as you like, your customer is only going to be able to select one shipping method uh, per order. So why is that important? Well, that's important because, uh, say for example, you had one huge product, like a pallet of, uh, of items that you were selling as one product, and at the same time on your on your website, you were selling one really, really tiny uh, item. And in fact, you were planning on sending them uh, using different methods uh, to your customer. So if a customer bought both of those items from you, they would get them from different couriers, or one like the pallet might go with a big freight service, and that kind of thing, yeah. Well, um, so with that in mind, but your customer's only gonna be able to select one shipping method. So you wanna create shipping methods on your cart, like uh, next day delivery, three day delivery, and five day delivery, and that kind of thing, rather than specifying the actual method of shipping that's going to be uh, used if, if there are actually multiple methods um, that you're going to be using. So anyway, with that in mind, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look at the actual uh, setup of these shipping methods, and you can see what's, uh, what type of uh, things you can do. So if we click on add new method on the screen here, uh, this takes us to the, to the shipping setup screen. And as you can see, the first box up here, shipping name. So let's do next day delivery. And uh, then we've got shipping type. Well, in fact, the shipping name you put at the top, that's the name that the customer is going to see uh, in the list of shipping methods to select from. So next day delivery. Um, the shipping type here, you've got a choice of basic, weight-based, stepped, fixed, or price-based. Uh, in this case, let's just take a look at basic. So basic is called basic because it's really simple. Um, essentially, you just specify the shipping price uh, for each product. So let's just save that shipping method there. Let's just do a really simple example. We save that shipping method. Uh, you'll see uh, it, that appears now in the shipping menu. And let's go to a product on the product manager. And then you'll see that on the product properties, if I just bring those up, then in the shipping section, now you can see it's got next day delivery there, and at its simplest, you can just enter the cost. So if it costs five pounds, there you go, uh, that item will cost five pounds to ship for next day delivery. So say you had another shipping method, you set up another basic one, which was say three day delivery, then uh, that would appear underneath next day delivery on this uh, product properties, and you could enter the value for three day delivery as well on this product. And so you go through every product giving it all the different values. Now, one other thing you can do, which you can see here, is you can set up a stepped shipping method within a basic method. Now, what that means is, uh, so looking at this example here, when one of these items is added to the cart, shipping is gonna be five pounds. If we put a value in here, let's put three. So if two of these items are added to the cart, then it'll be five plus three, it would be eight pounds. And if three of the items are added to the cart, let's put one in there, it would be nine pounds. So for the first one would, charge, would cost five pounds, the second one an additional three pounds, uh, and the third one would cost an additional one pound. And in fact, any subsequent, uh, uh, any more quantities of that product that are added will cost an additional uh, one pound per item. Okay, now interestingly, if you had two products, you could also uh, set, set this up on another product. And if you give both those products the, sh the same shipping group name, for example, group one, uh, then it would count up the total quantity of both of those products in the cart to, to work out which uh, pricing it should be using there. Okay, so if we go back to the shipping screen, the next, if I edit that there, uh, the next uh, shipping method type is weight-based. Uh, now, manually set the prices. If I click here, then you see what you can do here is you can set up weight bands. So on each product, uh, you need, for example, if you're using the product manager, you would enter the weight against the product, or if you're posting the product's uh, details to the cart with every add to basket button, then you would need to post a weight parameter. And then you'd go onto this screen here and set up your weight band. So for example, from one to 100, it might cost five pounds. And of course, the cart doesn't actually know what the one or 100 means. It might be grams, it might be kilos. The cart doesn't care, it's just a number. Uh, so let's put 101 to 500. Let's say it costs, I don't know, eight pounds. Okay, so and so on and so forth. So what happens is the cart would add up the total weight of everything that's in the cart and um, compare it against the weight bands that you've got here. So say the total weight of the cart was 50, then, um, the shipping for the order would be five pounds. If it was, you know, 200, it would be eight pounds. Interestingly, if the total weight for the order was 600, using this example, uh, this shipping method wouldn't actually be offered because there is no weight band which covers uh, 600. So um, let's just delete those there. 
And if we go on to the next uh, shipping method, in fact, the next type down here, it's uh, as part of weight-based shipping. Uh, if you if you're in the USA and you use USPS, FedEx, or UPS, then um, you don't need to enter those weight bands. Roman cart when the, when the customer uh, selects a shipping method, Roman cart will go and find the actual price. Um, of that uh, of that ship method for their location, so it's really cool. You just click on the configure links there, and you can configure those um, to uh, with, with your account details from from those uh, different couriers. Now the next shipping method is stepped. Um, this is again this is a fairly simple shipping method. Uh, it just means that the first product added to the cart will cost this much. So let's just say five. Let's do three and one. So yet again, if there's one product in the cart, it will cost five pounds shipping. If there's two products it will cost five plus three, eight pound shipping. If there's three products, it will cost an additional one to so nine pound shipping, and every additional product, or every quantity of a product, is going to add uh, one more to that. So that's uh, you know, which uh, three plus uh, adds an extra one. The next shipping method, the next shipping type, sorry, is fixed. Um, again, this is this is fairly straightforward. This is this just means this shipping method will cost ten pounds. Uh, we've got a ten in there. So whatever they buy, it's just going to cost ten pounds. Uh, price based. Now, price based is very similar to weight based um, in that you set up bands. So again, you on this case you would have from let's have if the if the total price of the items in the cart are from one p to a hundred pounds, uh, the shipping is going to cost five pounds. If it's One hundred pounds and a penny to I don't know five hundred pounds, then it's going to cost ten pounds and so on. Uh, again, as, as per the uh, the, the weight based shipping, uh, you know if the total value of the products in the cart comes to six hundred pounds here, then no shipping method is going to be offered. Well, this shipping method isn't going to be offered, uh, so only the others that you set up will be offered. So if I just close that down here, you can set up you can specify free shipping for this shipping method, and you can tick that box and say free if the total amount of the order excluding shipping either including tax or excluding taxes over the specific value you enter in there. You can also enter a minimum shipping that this particular shipping method is going to cost and a maximum shipping. You can set up the tax settings there, um, whether or not the shipping method actually includes tax and uh, what type of tax it is. So if it's just a fixed sh shipping tax rate, for example, 15%, or if you're using advanced tax, and you can see the separate screen cost on advanced tax, but if you're using advanced tax, then you can se select the tax band for the shipping there. And finally, this is an interesting one, you can charge tax on shipping at the same rate as the goods being delivered. What that means is, say you sell some zero rated items, um, in many countries, uh, you're not allowed to charge tax on the shipping for the portion of shipping that is used for those zero rated items. So to keep it simple, say for example, someone goes onto your website and orders uh, five items, all of which are zero rated tax, then with this option selected uh, there will be no tax charge on the shipping either. Uh, if half of those items were were taxable, then half of these uh, shipping items would be taxed at the same rate as what those uh, the products are uh, uh, taxed at. So that's the tax settings. And then we move on to the, uh, the regional settings at the bottom. Um, by default the shipping method is available to customers in any location. You can make it so the shipping method is only available to customers in a specific uh, region. For example, here we've got the United Kingdom. And then you can actually uh, go deep in that and define post or zip codes within that region. So we've got a tick box there, a radio button there for uh, this particular shipping method at the moment is valid in all post zip code areas there. But you can make it so that it's, uh, you can specify the, the post uh, codes or the zip codes uh, which it's valid for. So let's have a prefix of AB and we have 1 to 100 and let's have I don't know BC sorry DC uh, 1 to 100 as well okay so what that means is if I put on there so if the customer's postcode is in the range AB1 to AB100 if, if that's what it starts with or DC1 to DC100 if that's what it starts with then they would be able to use this shipping method otherwise it wouldn't be available to them if I close that and um, there's another option down here, uh, which is that if if you, you can also make the shipping method, if you've got another shipping method set up for, for various different postal codes or zip codes within a region, then you can set up a shipping method to uh, as a kind of catch-all, which will be offered to all those postal code areas which you haven't specified for that region. So tick that bottom radio button there if that's the case. 
And finally, uh, this shipping method is only available to customers in these locations. Uh, so this is uh, where you can select the, the different regions. Say, for example, we have, I don't know, European countries. Uh, then you would select those there, click on Save, and then you would click on say the save button down there and then th that this shipping method would only be available if the customer is in a European uh, country. So looking back at the shipping method screen here uh, there's a load of different fields on this screen. We've got the name, uh, we've got the type uh, which is obviously the shipping type of the shipping method, the minimum maximum, it's just sort of kind of inf quick information so you can look at this stuff without having to actually edit or look at the uh, uh, definition of the shipping method. Um, whether it's free or not and also the uh, if it's a basic shipping method or it gives you other information such as with the basic uh, shipping method you've got to post this as a shipping one field obviously it doesn't matter if you're using the product manager but if you're posting the uh, the fields to the cart then uh, then you'll need to use the shipping one field and at a glance as well it shows you the the state of the regions that's obviously available in all different regions but if you uh, if you restrict it to different regions then you'll see different icons appear there you can edit um, you can set the order you can also deactivate a shipping method uh, if you just click on the tick then that will change to a kind of no entry sign um, and and that will just immediately stop that working without you having to delete it in fact if I just add another um, shipping method here just for a test let's call it three three day delivery I'll just leave that as a basic one um, just to show you the ordering you can see that uh, in fact if I just make that active as well it's going to make a bit more sense so at the moment, the, the first item in the list is going to be the first uh, shipping method in the list is going to be the next day delivery and then three day delivery. If you want to kind of push your three day delivery, then you can click on the up arrow there and uh, that would appear first in the list there as well. And finally as well, uh, there's a trash can icon there should you wish to delete any shipping methods.